Yeah, um, it's a pleasure now to introduce the second ecosystem we've been working on with a topic that is very intertwined with the lives of each and everyone in this room. It's food. <laughs> And why I think uh, we all love to connect with good food, we also have to face the fact that the current way we produce and consume food is not really um, sustainable in the long run. So we see, we've seen in the discussion before around circular economy that construction um, emits around 40% of global greenhouse gas emissions. The food sector emits around 30% of global greenhouse gas emissions, so that's also a ton. And while on the one side we have a lot of malnourished people, on the other side we have a lot of obese people. And you can only imagine what this creates in terms of economic costs, but also social issues and environmental issues. And so when you turn this around, there's a lot of impact to be made, which is why we are in the game for sustainable food. And uh, you've just heard about the, the principles of circularity, and we also like to apply this to the sustainable food system, because that just changes so much around and makes it more sustainable. Um, yeah, at Impact Hub Berlin, we like to support impact entrepreneurs that dare to think differently about how we produce food, um, maybe using less land, using less water, um, also uh, creating more biodiversity. We also like to support impact entrepreneurs that use technologies to organize the global supply chains that we have for food. And we also like to support sustainable entrepreneurs that make all of this supply chain more transparent so that consumers actually have the information available they need to take the decision for the good product. And last but not least, we like to support impact innovators that do not look at the leftover of food as waste, but actually as resources for new products to be made. And so you see that we look at the whole value chain of how we produce food, how we process it, how we get it to the people, and how it is then not being wasted. Um, we're in the game of sustainable food for around two years now with my wonderful colleague Malena. She's over here. <laughs> and one of, the programs, <laughs> one of the programs we've been running is the Feeding the City Incubator. Um, another six-month program for early-stage entrepreneurs who, as the name says already, have innovative solutions for feeding a growing urban population. And this year we are very proud to be running the third cohort. We've supported 17 startups and I've picked one from the first cohort to inspire you today, um, Super Co-op. I think they chose a very cunning approach of using a quite old school model of cooperative systems of, to make the supermarket more transparent and also make it possible for people to get involved. So how does their model work? Every member of the cooperative has to spend three hours per month working for the supermarket. And so they are part of the whole process of sourcing the products and also of how they are being sold. So they see the back end of how this actually works and they don't only see and learn about it, but they actually get to decide about it and that's the cool part about it. Yeah, also this uh, startup has raised money recently and moved into a much bigger space, so you can go and shop at their supermarket in Wedding in the north of Berlin. Um, and overall, if this topic of agriculture, of food, is something that interests you, I'm very happy uh, to talk to you later on and you can also approach my colleague Malena. And it's now my pleasure to ask the third lady on stage to introduce you to yet another ecosystem.